We have got some news about the Switch 2, which we'll be talking about in the video, how it will affect Splatoon. But before getting into that, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button if you are new to the channel and help me get to 40,000 subscribers and make sure you are hitting that thumbs up button and leaving a comment down below. So pretty much Nintendo's president, Shuntaro Furukara, did announce that the Switch 2 will be backwards compatible with the Switch. So any games that you do own on your Switch will be playable on the Switch 2. Nintendo's president also confirmed that the Switch online service will be carried over to the Switch 2 as well. So what this means for Splatoon going forward is that Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 will work on the Switch 2 and basically with the introduction or the continuation of the Switch online service on the Switch 2 it does mean that the online service like playing multiplayer games will be a paid service like what we are used to right now. Now at the moment it is something like $20 for the basic tier, £18 for me. I'm thinking that it probably will be going up unfortunately but yeah pretty much at the start of this generation the online service was free up until around about 2018 and then we did get the paid service launched. So yeah from the launch of the Switch 2 the Switch online service will be in operation so yeah pretty much what is really cool about it is that if you are currently playing Splatoon 3 right now you can carry on playing it on the Switch 2 and maybe we will get some sort of performance boost with this new hardware that will be coming out. Maybe Nintendo won't release like patches for the Switch 2 for these games so that they would perform better but because the Switch 2 will be stronger hardware maybe there will be like a natural boost in performance in that sort of way. So maybe Splatoon 3 will look a little bit better and perform a little bit better as well as the second game as well. So in situations like in Samurai, where you've got so many enemies on screen, you've got like three bosses in certain ways. I can't pronounce that way, but yeah, pretty much in certain situations, you do get some frame dips here and there. And yeah, maybe on the Switch 2, maybe Samurai will perform a little bit better. And I remember for the second game, there was dynamic resolution. So pretty much in certain situations, the game would run at 900p and then it would drop to 720p depending on what would happen on screen. So say like if there was a lot of enemies or a lot of stuff happening on screen, then the resolution would drop to 720p. Maybe the availability of strong hardware will mean that the game would always run at 900p. So maybe we could get a small performance boost for Splatoon 2 and the third game on the Switch 2. But that is just my speculation. Maybe it will just run exactly the same way as what we are used to right now. But yeah, because Splatoon 2 and 3 will be available on the Switch 2 from day one, then yeah, maybe this does mean that we don't necessarily need to see a new Splatoon game straight away. It's like with the Switch, it wasn't backwards compatible with the Wii U because of course there is no way to put Wii U discs into the Switch. So yeah, pretty much there was no Splatoon experience from day one until we did get Splatoon 2 in July 2017. So now that there is backwards compatibility, meaning that there would be a Splatoon experience on day one with Splatoon 2 and 3, then it doesn't necessarily mean that Nintendo has to get a new Splatoon game out straight away. But I will argue against that and say that Nintendo will want to move over people playing Splatoon 2 and 3 over to a new game eventually. They will want Splatoon players in Japan picking up the Switch 2 and there is no better way to do that than a brand new game of some sort. And any new game will be exclusive in my opinion, like a Splatoon 4, whenever it does come out, it will be exclusive to the Switch 2. I've actually got a couple of videos already recorded talking about the future of Splatoon. I don't really feel like those are out of date with this piece of news. I do feel like they are still relevant. They will be coming out over the next few weeks. But the first video you will be seeing from me over the weekend is where I will discuss when I feel like the Switch 2 
will be revealed and released. And yeah, you will be seeing more Switch 2 videos from me. But let me know your thoughts about the Switch 2. Having backwards compatibility is definitely not surprising news, but it's nice that we did get this confirmation regardless. But that is it with this video. I will see you in another one soon.